Hey guys, so in this video, I will show you that how you can actually increase the range of your NRF modules. NRF module is a, just like basically a single chip device and having a frequency band from 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz and uh, they also have integrated frequency generator and uh, they have, some of the modules contains power amplifier that means they can actually increase the level of radio frequency to achieve a higher distance and uh, they also have crystal oscillators and also have like a modulator demodulator you can sense data in form of encryption and uh, also you can sense data in form of packets and all so like in my previous video i have made a voice transmission device so this is the receiver and this one is the transmitter so the receiver i left it like same okay so this is a like a omnidirectional antenna so these antenna tends to send signal like this 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 it, it makes it like a, it makes like a all kind of like a cylindrical shape with uh, higher edges okay but but previously I, in my transmitter I was doing with this so like uh, this was on the there and it was uh, sending a signal in form of like all the direction but uh, I was with this setup I was getting something around um, 300 to 400 meters of distance not 300 even barely I was getting 400 380 meters but after that I realized that uh, I don't require to send the signal at the back side of the transmitter so what I did I used like this kind of steel grid this is a steel net you can buy from any hardware store and uh, like uh, this is connected to the ground okay let's see which one is ground which one is feeder if you see on the back side of your um, look let us see my nrf module this one is nrf 24l01 this comes with the power amplifier and all and all other things are this circuit let's come to the back so if you see this so these all hold one two and the three and this one four are the ground plane so what you have to do is it connect uh, two wires one from here and another to this ground and connect it to the steel grid and uh, the middle one is actually feeder from where the signal actually comes so you what you have to do is that you take an, a solder of one wire to this feeder and uh, take it straight and take it to the upside like this okay. take it to the upside so now what will happen is that and be uh, remember not to make uh, this distance too far this one this must be as short as, as possible what happens is that if you see from this side so like this is the feeder wire and this is grid so what happens is that when we transmit the signal so it actually cover it uh, behaves like this one it actually sends signal in all direction except the upper side so it actually sends in all directions so the is this side direction signal which are getting to this side it goes there but uh, the signal which actually trying to go back is re get reflected from this grid and uh, try it, it uh, reflects and this uh, changes direction to the forward so the, all the signal actually goes in forward direction that's it and so it just behave like the same thing uh, like uh, we have in our rooftop dishes uh, used for the receiving the data from the geostationary satellites sets and um, this is also the same uh, like the dish and the kind of feeder behavior and uh, actually you don't need to be worried about what is the focal point of this parabola kind of you don't like uh, not to be worried about the like uh, what's the focal point but try to put it in the focal point and if you do calculation maybe you get a better range i was i'm getting something around 600 meters from this like around 600 it varies in open field so you can use this kind of setup and uh, it's very like uh, i think it's very good and even though sometimes i like i do like uh, if i like to uh, touch it and kind of do that thing still i was getting the ring and maybe if i do a perfect calculations to calculate the parabola and uh, i will put this on the focal point maybe i will get a better range more than 600 when i'm transmitting audio if i will send back it's definitely it's going to cover more than one kilometer but i don't have any purpose for this to send packets i need to sense data in form of voice so 
you can also try this and uh, if you have any questions regarding this you can comment on the comment description and uh, you can also suggest me to make some more video on if you uh, require any topic regarding this or Arduino and kind of thing I will make that if I can do that definitely I will make a video for that and uh, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching